What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Sarcastic Playthrough. This is part four of that series, where I'll play through Pokemon Sun and uh, just be as sarcastic as possible. It's a uh, pretty fun time. Hopefully you enjoy uh, the streaming and the playthrough and everything. And uh, maybe you're uh, near where I am in the game, or maybe you're farther be uh, beyond where I am in the game. But either way, um, we're going to have some fun today and catch some new Pokemon and also... Um, carry on to the second island. I, I just finished up everything I wanted to do in the first island, so I'm ready to move on. Um, save my game, and <clears throat> I think I have to go to the uh, photo area first, and then head out to the second island, so let's go ahead and make that happen right now. So, <clears throat> so for those of you new to my channel, thanks for stopping by and tuning in today, and don't forget to hit that follow button and that like button, or the subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Um, I'm not answering his questions. Like, so, my Pokedex is asking me questions. I'm not going to answer them because I don't care. Let's go in here. Hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Z Power Ring. Here at the Alola Photo Club, you can take photos with your favorite Pokemon as you strike your favorite poses. So, what does my Z Power Ring have to do with anything? Why would you even mention that? <clears throat> you should definitely give it a try. After all, you came this far already. So you literally just said I have a Z power ring for no reason. Prepare your photo shoot. Tap the option you want to change, and when you're ready, tap start to photo shoot. Okay. That's that's fine. I can't move. Uh, have your Pokemon take different actions to capture a cool pose. Flip the switch on, and your Pokemon will perform the actions it uses in battle or when playing cutely with you. Tap this Pokemon call button and ask, and you can ask your Pokemon to perform another action. Tap the button many times to see what kinds of actions your Pokemon might take. Press the action button here to choose what kind of action you'll take during the photo shoot. Select the tabs on the left to change controls. I don't even know if I want to do this. Um, so, <laughs> his eyes are closed. Six photos are taken in one shot. Like nothing, there's nothing there. Okay. I'm just going to leave. I don't even want to do this stuff. Like, the photo stuff, I guess it's kind of cool, but I really don't think... Um, I don't think I need this in my life. <laughs> I think we were better off if this building was never ex like built. Open up your photo album from the X menu, which you can open just by pressing X. That's exactly what... Oh my gosh. Once you open your photo album, you can decorate your photos with stickers and more. Add some pizzazz to really make them shine. If you choose to share your jazzed up photos from your photo album, then everyone who comes to play in your festival plaza can see them too. So it's like, it's like, use the X button to open up the thing. Just simply press X. As you visit more places, Rodham will help you out with capturing more backgrounds that you can use when you're taking photos. Definitely come to take more photos as you explore the islands during your island challenge. Uh, I don't think I will. Thanks, though. Yeah, I'm definitely probably never going to come into this room again. Thanks for the uh, uh, option, though, I guess. Here comes Hal again. <laughs> Just waving at me. I bet you and Brion got a great shot together at the photo club, right? Time for your next stop. Akala Island, here we come. Yeah, let's get going. I don't care if you're taking the photo. Once I get started with all these poses and the stickers and things, I can't stop myself. I'll spend ages making sure Tora Cat is looking awesome. So I should hold off on taking any photos of my own for now. Wouldn't want to leave you bored or hanging. Just think, I wonder what kind of trials we'll face next. Good timing, Blaze. And how? I've just got the old 
Girl all ready to set sail. Oh yeah, so about that, Professor. I was thinking that I'd really like to head to Akala Island with Mantine. And I want to see Blaze take a shot of Mantine surfing too. But the boat. <laughs> but the boat. Oh, come on. I really want to ride on Mantine, don't you? I'm totally not just saying that because the professor's boat is such a jug keep. <clears throat> right. Well, Hal, is all up to you. The island challenge is all about journeying together with Pokemon. Yeah. So I'll see you on Akala Island, Akala Island, Professor. If you want to go together, I'll be at Route 2's Big Wave Beach. I guess I should do this. I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure how I feel about this part of the game, but we'll see. I was hoping to ask a favor, if that's alright. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. You see, Nebby is... Its real home is far away from here, and I want to help it get home. It's like I told you before, Nebby saved my life once when I was in trouble. Now I want to save it. I feel like there's not much I can do on my own, since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. But if I had a real trainer like you helping me, then maybe... <laughs> but I probably shouldn't ask a near stranger to help, right? I know it's just my own wish, and it has nothing to do with you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I understand, but if you ever do learn anything that you think might help Nebby get home, I'd really appreciate it if you could tell me. I'll do my best to look for clues on Akala Island on my own, and maybe I'll see you there. Cool. Yeah, you go off on your own. It's fine. I don't really... I don't know if I need you to be around. Okay, so Route 2, I guess. I don't think we really have a choice either. I think we have to go to Route 2. Yeah, we can't even go to the boat if we wanted to. That's fine, though, I guess. We'll just get our little, uh... Get our surf on. I just realized a little like the, on the during the last episode that the reason you don't see Taurus around anymore is because he comes with you. Oh, there's a thing here. A star piece, yes. Ah, can't break that rock. I never found this person's uh, meowth, by the way. Like not even not even close. I didn't even look for it. They're like, yeah, he likes hanging out by uh, tires and things like that. And I'm like, there's no tires in this game. Oh, he might be over here by this uh, by this car. I never saw him. <laughs> no. Oh, no, it's Professor Oak's cousin. <laughs> I hate this character. You have an island challenge amulet, plus normal AMZ and Phytini AMZ. So it would seem that you've cleared that trial of Limas, have you? And even battled Hala. Congratulations! <clears throat> oh, well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak. Samson Oak. I'm a Pokemon researcher, and I'm looking into the totem Pokemon found around here. Yes, totem Pokemon. Why are they so large? What gives them that burning aura? Don't you find yourself wondering as well? Not really. How's that so? You may say that now, but I think that hearing what I have to propose will change your mind. I want you to collect certain stickers for me to receive a totem-like Pokemon for yourself. That's right, I mean the totem stickers. You can find totem stickers here and there, peel them off whenever you find them, and try to collect them all. If you collect 20 totem stickers uh, to show me, I'll give you a fine gum shoes. Don't let me down. After all, you are the trainer that Professor Kukui entrusted with Rodham here. Yeah, he didn't trust Hal with that, so that's true. Zert. I'll be around Hia Hia Beach on Akala Island if you need to ever find me. You can reach it with a spot of Mantine surfing. Okay. It's so weird. So the two of you were friends. That's right, we are. We're doing our island challenge together. And next up, we want to go to Akala Island. So I take it you beat old Hala. Our main team would be thrilled to have a couple of able trainers like you riding them. Great, so like, how do we actually do Mantine surfing? Just go up to Mantine and introduce yourself. 
Okay, sounds easy enough. Meet lots of different Pokemon on your journey. That's how I became friends with Mantine here back in the days of my own island challenge. Okay. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> okay, so what do I do? It's probably a tutorial. Mantis Surf is a sport in which you can ex execute moves to try to get a high score as you make your way to the island you are trying to reach. Start off with four lessons to learn the basics of Mantine Surf. Mantine will move forward on its own right up the face of the wave, and when you reach the lip, slide the circle pad to the left to surf back down and pick up speed. Okay. Once you get back down in the, in the trough of the wave, slide the circle pad to the right to climb the face again. Keep riding up and down the wave and pick up more speed. Time to give it a try. So we go up, and then we go down. And then we go down. When Manti starts moving really fast, you will see air currents around it turn orange. Okay, then what? Whoops. When you reach the highest point of the wave or the lip, slide the circle pad to the right and you can launch into the air. The faster Manti is traveling, the higher you will get off the wave. Pick up some speed and catch some air. Oh no, I don't know what I did. I just missed that whole thing. While you're in the air, move the circle pad in any direction to spin and twist. You'll add more points to your score if you do. If you can chain together several of these spins during the same aerial, you can pull off a bold move that will earn a high score. Okay. Okay. Sparkling ring appears around Mantine at the end of a trick. If you start another spin before it disappears, you'll earn an even higher score. Cool, I guess. When in the air, Mantine will slowly lose elevation and fall back down towards the water surface. If Mantine is still spinning when it hits the water, it'll be swallowed by the wave and sink below the surface. Make sure you time your spins right so that they end before you hit the water. So, there shouldn't always be a wave. <clears throat> if Mantine lands successfully, you will get a landing bonus added to the points you had earned for any aerials you pulled off. This way, your score will keep going up. You clear the lessons. You're a full-fledged Mantine surfer now. If you want to repeat these lessons, just ask a swimmer on the beach. When you see an island on the horizon, you'll know you are close to the destination. Try to pull off moves until the very end of your trip. Aim for a really high score. Sounds simple enough. Let's get it going. Oh no. It's tentacles. Ah, oh, I missed it. <laughs> are those what are those? Ah, oh, I missed it again. There really shouldn't be waves this far out. 
Uh, maybe there are, but... Dang it. <clears throat> Nailed it. I think if you turn into it more, that's when it, that's when you get more of a speed bonus. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Wasn't a very good score, I don't think. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on now. And how quickly can it earn you beach points? That's a good question. Because I wonder if there's a... Okay, here we are. Akala Island. This is a new beach, right? Land Ahoy, or Land Ashore, whatever you say. Alright, we made it to Akala Island. Cool, thanks, Hal. Mantine is the best! Do you think the Professor and Lily are already here too? Let's split up and see if we can find them in the town anywhere. Alright, let's see what we got. Your surfing skills are reaching new levels. Your score this time is 7,000. That's a new high score for you and on that course, right? Everyone's psyched for you, little bro. Beach points, two. I wonder why two. Don't you forget the ride you just took. Mm -mm. We're on Akala. You know what that means. It means a new Akala Island Pokedex. Zzzt. Try to find lots of new Pokemon to fill it up. Sure thing. You're not the boss of me, though. I'll do what I want. I'm pretty sure this area is new. No, it's not really. Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, it's new. Yeah, because you, you used to land over here on the... on the marina. I'm pretty sure it was just, like, buildings there or something, I feel like. Hey, Blaze and Hal, those are... There you are. How was your trip on those Mantine? Nah, no problem. That's what I like to hear. Tackle your island challenge with the same attitude. Wait, so Mantine's even faster than that old boat of yours? Professor Sailboat is, well, it's seen better days. Still haven't managed to find a shirt that goes with your lab coat. Hmm, Kukui. Uh-oh. It's Olivia and Mallow. I've told you you're going to scare off strangers looking like that. Nebby, back into the bag. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Lily. I'm a huge fan of Olivia. I think she's awesome. Hello there. Nice to meet you all. I'm Olivia. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Mallow, one of the captains here. I was on the way to see who was pulling into port and ran into Mallow here while she was out on delivery. Yep, my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients that make up your team to shine. Cooking? Same thing as last time? Cool. Especially you two. Your Pokemon look ready to cook with gas. What's that even mean? Gas? Mallow isn't the only captain here on the Akala Island, of course. What's your plan now? 
That's up to these kids. It's their it's their island challenge, after all. I suppose so. Okay, then. Enjoy your time on the island, kids. Along with your Pokemon. I'll be waiting for my chance to face you in battle when the time comes. Looking forward to seeing what you've got. Let's go, Mallow. Yeah. I think Olivia is really cool. Like, she's just like a really cool character, I think. I'm sure she wanted to come see that you made it here all right. But she'll never admit it to you. Ha. That's Olivia for you. She's a kind kahuna deep down. There are three trials here on Akala Island. If you decide, if you do decide you want to take on the trial straight away, head up to Route 4. Uh, and keep on going till you get to Pen Peniola Town. Shoot. I know where I'm going first, and that's straight to the Pokemon Center. I wonder what kind of malasada they make on Akala, eh? Maybe I'll see about some shopping of my own, and I should find out about the ruins for Nebby's sake, too. I'm going right to the clothes shop. I don't know about you guys. So what's in here? I guess it's just take a ferry. <laughs> okay. If you want to take a boat ride back to the other place, but why would you do this now that you can ride Mantine? That whole building is useless now. What's over here? <clears throat> Tourist Bureau. One of Alola's most famous attractions has got to be the Pokepelago. Why not a little, enjoy a little time there with some of your dear Pokemon? Can I? I want to. I'm the name raider. I don't want you to rate any names right now. It's okay. Thank you, though. Not much makes me happier than finding one of Alola's hidden treasures. Cool. I don't know what you mean by treasures. That's fine, though. <laughs> Get a dress. Buy the dress. Treat yourself. Oh, Blaze. Are you looking for new clothes? Well, yes, I was doing that, too, but this little fellow was hardly, hardly say still. I think Nebby might be interested in visiting the Ruins of Life. Apparently, they house the Sacred Guardian of Akala, a creature called Tapu Lele. I wonder if you'd like to come with us when we go to visit the Ruins. I mean, little Nebby here seems to like you quite a bit, Blaze. I'll be at Tidesong Hotel if you decide you want to come. I'm supposed to be meeting someone there, someone very important to me. It'll be all right. I can see the building from here, after all. Even I shouldn't be able to lose my way. <laughs> you would think. I, I don't have faith in that, though. And you, I'll have you stay in the bag, mister. <laughs> He's so sad. All right. I need some new clothes. <clears throat> I've heard that there is a group of terrible people running around trying to steal Pokemon. A group called Team Skull. We need to be careful if we want to escape the notice of such a collection of villains. Isn't that right, Blaze? You know, I think I kind of prefer the boat ride to the to the Mantine Surfing. I kind of feel like Mantine Surfing should be something that that you do just kind of as a fun thing to do, not so much something that you do to get between the islands. Like, the boat rides make more sense. And Pokemon may or may not be able to go that far out between two islands, depending on how far they are. Sludge Tank, Iconic Top, Wolf Tank, uh, Starprint Polo, Black, Red, Yellow, Orange. I like my, my clothes now. I just want to see what other stuff is available. Oh my gosh, that's actually, that's kind of cool, but no. <laughs> I'm not using it. White Cargo Pants. I like the, sh the shorts I have right now because they match the shirt. The shoes also match the shirt, so I don't want to change that. And the hat does, too. But I wouldn't mind having a new hat. Actually, a backpack would be cool, too. Nylon backpack? Nah. I like that backpack, but not in that color. Uh, not yet. Maybe I'll get it later, but that's cool. 
Thank you. Okay. Let's get out of here. I don't know why I did this. I didn't need to heal my Pokemon. That's okay, though. So we're going to go to... I guess we'll go talk to Lily. What do these guys want? Just tell me stuff. Sometimes a wild Pokemon jumps out at you. It's like a nature's little surprise. Root fours, twists and turns. Not a trainer, just really like Pokeballs. An infinite world in such small round space. I see you've caught your Brion with a Pokeball. How about that, a Pokeball, and Brion is inside. It's the most basic way of catching Pokemon, but basics are really important. I hear there are some Pokemon trainers out there who use only Pokeballs to catch all of their Pokemon. I used to be one. I used to do that. I don't do it anymore because it was super hard. Let's get some of these. Um, let's see. Potion. I don't need that stuff, I don't think. Poketoy. Let's see what he has. TM shop. I don't need this stuff. Not yet, anyway. Can only be used in a hailstorm. That's weird. I wonder what kind of strategy is up for that. I'm your friend Fred. I know every trainer in the whole world. And I'm friends with every one of them. Just one look at a Pokemon and you got in a trade from someone else and I can tell you everything there is to know about the original trainer. Nope. Maybe I should tr buy the TM for Protect. Eh, maybe not. Do what you want. It's your life, honey. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Uh-oh. My Statlin is real thorough kind and likes to uncover every last stone. Take, take another route until we have uncovered all the hidden items. Wow. Way to block me out of that area. That's cool. Before you attempt your trial, you'll probably want to get ready in Pinola one last time. Where do you get ready for Route 4 so you can make it all the way to Pinola? Who are these people? I can't remember these people. Stop right there. Hipsters. We didn't mean to surprise you. You must be doing an island challenge. I like hipsters. Actually, I, I, I guess in some way I'm kind of a hipster. I'm Duxio and I'm Cena. Beautiful name for a beautiful lady. Cool. I gotta go. <laughs> Thank thanks. We're here seeing the sights in Alola. It's unique tradition of island challenge. It's pretty fascinating, I've got to say. Oh, I've got an idea. You and Dexio should battle. No. And why should we do that? Though I might as well test my skills. Is that alright with you? Yeah, it's fine. Well, I I wouldn't mind knocking you down a couple pegs. I'll let my partners go wild. He's got a cool shirt, though. Trainer Dexio. Dexio. Mime Jr. <clears throat> Mr. Mime. Uh, we're going to use, I guess, Disarming Voice. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, but we'll try it anyway. Eh, it's not bad. Uh-oh. It's better than the other options. Um, I know that uh, Icy Wind would not really do much. He's only got two Pokemon. Mime Jr. fainted. Level up on Brion. Nice. 26. Rock Ruff leveled up. Inke leveled up. Inke leveled up. Espeon. Yes. Let's switch out to... Hmm, that's a good one. I guess we'll keep Brion. 
I don't have any ghost type moves. That's probably the hardest battle I've had since I started this game. And really, it's not that tough, because he's level, what, 20? Not even that. He's level, like, 18 or something. 15. Icy Wind. Shybeam! All right. 301 experience. We got Ekans leveling up. I think he's about to evolve. Inke. Oh, let's not learn foul play. That's fine. Level 9. Wingle, level 21. Alola trainers have a different charm than those in Kalos. 2100. Mime Jr. is so cute. <laughs> He's pretty cute, actually. That's what I would expect from a trainer doing the island challenge. I felt the bond between you and your Pokemon. I feel like I've been able to have a glimpse of the island challenge. Let me heal your Pokemon. So I think Mime Jr., you find him in the same place that I found Poochum, or Smoochum, whatever it was, um, but in Moon. So in Sun, you find Smoochum, but in Moon, it's Mime Jr., you and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, no doubt about it. This battle reminded me of us in the past and that group of five young trainers. Hold up. Five young trainers. Take this as a little token of our new friendship. Was he in X and Y? Did I miss something? I feel like this is a reunion of someone who was in X and Y, but I don't know who it is. Maybe training yourself up a bit on Route 4 will help you understand your Pokemon even better. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Thanks for nothing. Wait a sec. How do I get to Peñola Town again? Was it by going down Route 4? Yes. Stick of time. Ten totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> oh, I didn't mean to go that way. I got one yesterday. Nice. There's a sticker over here. Imagine that. Eleven totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so she's in here, right? She wanted to talk about something? Oh, Blaze. Sorry. I saw some people who looked like those Team Skull Thugs and I got scared. I'm trying to avoid them and I think... I ended up missing my meeting. Oh, well, don't worry, it's fine. This is actually where I wanted to be. Will you be going for another one of our of your trials? From what I've heard, I think that the nearest trial site must be up Route 4. Yes. That's where I'm going. I thought you wanted help with something, but I guess not. It's fine. It's fine. Lily's a bit insecure with herself. She needs she needs some confidence. She needs some self-confidence. Which I'm hoping she gains when she goes to Kanto and uh, does the Pokemon League there. I'm hoping she gains a bunch of uh, self-confidence because she needs it. If anybody needs it, it's definitely her. It's Mudbray! All right get our pound on stamina is that defense oh cool I wonder if I can attack it again since he raised his defense cool mud slap ow it <laughs> didn't hurt don't call for help ah uh. I'm not a big Mudbray fan. I think he's he's kind of cool looking, but I'm just not a big fan. I feel like this Pokemon could have been executed better. His evolution's pretty like really cool looking, but I don't I don't like it that much. Okay, you gotta get caught in this Pokeball. There's there's no no going back, sir. I knew it. I knew his buddy was going to come in. 
Bubble Beam, go! Bulldoze. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's do Great Ball, I guess. Try that out. Don't you break out. Don't you break out of that ball. Come on. Yes. Mudbray was captured. Rock Rough leveled up. Sweet. NK leveled up. Sweet. And the Pokedex data is coming up just in a minute or two. It loves playing in the mud. If it isn't showered with mud on a daily basis, it gets stressed out and stops listening to the trainer. Interesting. No nicknames. To the PC. Okay. Trainer battle. Get this out of the way. You don't have to ring the bell. If your eyes meet, I'll come. That's weird. What if your eyes don't meet? What are you going to be doing then? Fomantis. I do like Fomantis. Its evolution is actually pretty cool. It has a type advantage here, but I have like a, a 12 level advantage, so not likely. And an evolution advantage too, so there's really no possibility of this Pokemon defeating my Brion. Bellhop Jody, having to hand over my pocket money rather than getting a tip. Yeah, it's true. I see what you're saying. You lost some of your money. Too bad. So sad. You know, these winding routes sometimes have secret little spots that are easy, easy to overlook. What was that? <laughs> okay. I am a collector, which is to say that I collect Pokemon. I'm so glad that you told me that, because I, I don't think I ever would have figured that out. Collector Brian. Got another egg because I wanted a girl Poplio, and after three tries I got it. Nice. I think Poplio makes more sense as a girl. I kind of wish the... Uh, I kind of wish that the... The, the species was more girl than boy. But it's not necessary to have a girl. It, it is what it is. I just kind of wish that... Because a, lo a lot of times the starters are mostly boys. Unless... Um, I think it's like 75% boy. Or 75% male and 25% female. Something like that. Um, as far as like... Getting a starter Pokemon. It's almost always that way. I kind of wish that Brion was the exception. Uh, no. Let's stick around. I think Bagon is a, uh, um, dragon type, I think. Booyah! <laughs> Get out of here. Gimme, gimme. I just want this item back here. That's all I wanted. Revive, eh? Collectors are happy beings. Even if there are no Pokemon we want, just our imagination can make us smile. Haha, <laughs> but you didn't know about that, did you? Tiny Mushroom. There's a Fomantis up there running around. I've never noticed that before. That's pretty cool. Huh. Keep on going here. Another trainer battle. <laughs> I rely on apps for traveling recommendations. Uh, I rely on a Rotom, a Rotom Pokedex, Rotom Dex. Sightseer Scotty. What's up? 
Ratata. That's a regular Ratata. A Fomantis. Ah. And next up. Oh, he's already dead. Never mind. I I need to get a Rattata still. I don't I don't have one. I never bothered to get one on the first island. It's the only miss that I came across. Gotta be a Fomantis in here somewhere, probably. It's Iglybuff. Yay. I'm gonna catch it. Uh, pound. Oh, almost dead. Uh, let's see. Pokeball. Pokeball, go! Yes. Nailed it. I thought he was going to have a hard time getting captured, but it worked out. I have like 46 captured Pokemon right now, or 47, 48 now, but that's like, I didn't, I didn't think I had that many. I have a lot. Iglybuff is registered. Oh, I didn't read the thing. I wasn't even looking at my screen, I was looking at something else. So let's go to the Pokedex here for Iglybuff. It's always practicing its singing because it wants to improve, even when it's asleep. When it's asleep, it keeps singing in its dreams. Aw. Just really trying to improve, huh? Oh, I missed that item over here. That was the whole point of going in that grass field. Totally missed it. Young Goose. I feel like Young Goose is a rapper name. I don't know why. But every time I every time I see the name Young Goose, I think I think uh I think of like rapper. I think of a rapper Young Goose. Not that there is somebody named that. It's just it's just funny in my head. I don't know why. <laughs> About to drop the hottest album of 2017. <laughs> Adrenaline Orb. Oh, I could just drop down there. Oh well. What what does she want? Oh, she's she's fighting me. Just a sightseer, always looking for my boyfriend. Do you have a boyfriend, or are you trying to find someone new? Are you thirsty? What's wrong with you? Perdita. Meowth, go. Regular meow meowth. I guess her boyfriend's the other guy, probably. Why is he always why is he always running out doing his own thing? If I were you, I'd be real I'd be real worried about that. You should go through his cell phone and see who he's been texting. Why does he have a passcode on his phone? What are you trying to hide? NK learns swagger. I'm just lost in battle too, always looking for a way to win. She's like taking a total selfie right now. <laughs> selfie. Oh, what's in here? This is a new area. This is the Pikachu area we saw earlier in the trailer. So what's this area all about? Let's explore. Pikachu Valley. Pikachu! Welcome to Pikachu Valley. That's what the Pikachu are saying. You get this special Pikachu themed present to celebrate your first visit to Pikachu Valley. You can now use a special Pikachu frame to decorate your photos. 
Decorate photos in your photo album with that, and it'll always be Pikachu Valley in your heart. Is there a purpose to this area? Is there any point to this area existing? Magnet, okay. There's Pikachu over there running around. Okay. You can't go in there. Can you? Okay. Try to become a real Pikachu professor. Do you want to try your Pikachu professor quiz? Sure. There are five questions. Try to get every single one right. Here we go. Question one. By what part of Pikachu's body can you tell whether it's male or female? Tail. Question two. What are the particular parts of a Pikachu's cheeks called? Um, electric sacs. What else would they be? Question three. What do you need to do to evolve a Pikachu into a Raichu? Thunderstone. How is a shiny Pikachu different from more common Pikachu specimens? It's a darker color, I think. I think. Pikachu can evolve from, that's right, Pichu. But who is the first person to discover the existence of Pichu? I think it was Elm. I think. I don't know. This that's a t that's a trick question. Time to announce the results. The total number of correct answers was five out of five. You got them all right. That's electrifying. You are a true Pokemon master. Here's a little gift to help you celebrate acing the quiz for the first time. Oh, cool! Pikachu shirt and cap. I was hoping you'd get some clothing items. That's cool. Um, pictures? Let's try this. Now I can zoom in super close. Do something. Do something interesting. Um... I don't, know, I don't know if any of these are going to be very good, though. That's probably my favorite one. Seventeen ninety-eight. Thirteen thousand. If I get a hundred thousand, I get I get it upgraded again. <laughs> That's crazy. So can I like talk to these Pikachu and get something? I guess. I still don't know what the point of this is. This is so weird. I, I just don't know. I don't want to... I'm gonna go. I don't know. I just don't, I don't get the point of this. I guess you get a cool hat. <laughs> I, maybe I'll come back there later on and see if there's anything new that's there. But that, I'm a little upset that that doesn't seem. It doesn't seem obvious what's there. I can't. I can't understand what the whole what the point of even making that area was. I don't have Picky Peck yet. Let's get it. Let's get it.
pound it. Uh, playing with them was cute the first time, but it gets old fast. So, do they ever follow you around or anything? Like, what's the point? I'm struggling to find the purpose. Like, I, I'm, I'm guessing that you can, you can add one of them to your party or something at some point, but... I just I don't understand why you'd need to go through that method when you can just catch a Pichu or just a straight up Pikachu. Same with Rockruff. Like they gave you the option to play with that Rockruff, and I guess you can maybe add him to your party if you build up enough friendship. But what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Just go catch one. Piki Peck is registered. The Akala Pokedex is filling up. It pecks at trees with its hard beak. You can get some idea of its mood or condition from the rhythm of its pecking. No nickname. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, I got that already. Let's go up here. More items to collect. Hey, it's Lillipup. Catch him, too. I think I'm going to put uh, Picky Peck in my party. Because two cannons pretty awesome. Pound it. Oh, don't, don't be KO'd. Critical hit. That's not cool. Rock Ruff, level 15, wants to learn, learn Rock Throw. Let's do it. Uh, let's get rid of Howl. Let's keep that. Let's get rid of Leer. No bells today. Um, I mean, there should be bells. The bot's active, so I don't, I don't know why there wouldn't be. Energy root. Er. Grubbin. Uh, pound. <clears throat> I don't need a grubbin, so we're good there. Pound it again. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm, like, staring right at him. <laughs> First step to surprising Captain Mallow is to strengthen my Pokemon. Sure. I guess that's the first step. Put down the ladle, bro. Ernie. Cutie fly. Not concerned. I'm not concerned with your one Pokemon. I'd be concerned if you had six, but you have one Pokemon. And Pokeballs are not, they're not expensive. Like you could have multiple Pokemon. Why do you just have one? I would say that maybe you don't have time to train more Pokemon, but let's be honest. You're standing out here in this spot all times of the day. You're dressed like a cook, sure, but you really don't have a job, do you? That's my guess. Crab Brawler! Let's do Disarming Voice. Alrighty. Inke, level 13. Psywave. Paralyzation? Yes, let's do it. Let's get rid of Swagger. <laughs> I don't like Swagger that much. I didn't I didn't mean to give it to him. After I did it, I was like, why did I do that for? 
Lumberry, Pekka Berry, a Guav Berry, Figgy Berry, and Pekka Berry. This is the next town. It's like a western town, Pinola town. How's already here? Hey Blaze, glad I ran into you. So we can see who's stronger now. I got a Z power ring for my Gramps too, after making it through his grand trial. Having a battle in a place like Pinola town feels like we're in a real old fashioned western showdown or something, right? So cool. Though if we're real honorable cowboys, we gotta make sure our teams are healthy first. I mean, you don't have to. It's fine. I, I'm still going to beat you. I'm not worried about it. All right, team. Torcat and Pikachu and everybody. You ought to all be bursting with energy after eating a pile of Mom's special pancakes. Let's see how this newbie... Let's show this newbie what Alola's got. How dare you? How dare you, sir? You don't even know me. You don't even know me. Oh, please, Hal. You always lose. Brion! And, of, of course, like, you pick the Pokemon that's, like, I have the type advantage to. I'm also ten levels higher than you are. Breakneck Blitz, uh-oh. That's a little scary, but I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, not a problem. <laughs> I'll just use regular bubble beam and you're dead. No no reason to do all that. Just regular bubble beam does the trick. Pikachu let's I guess we'll go with uh Rockruff. Uh sure. He's rock type, not ground type, so really it's not gonna matter. Um but this might give how the boost of it of uh, confidence that he needs. Rock throw. Oh. I'm not even trying right now. <laughs> I'm using a like super under leveled Pokemon. Compared to the rest of the Pokemon on my team. Like he's really under leveled. Uh oh. Ouch. Not a concern, though. Big... Uh, 16. Yes. Sweet. Nice. Noibat. I have an electric type, right? No? I guess I don't. Always got ice, icy wind. It seems like it seems like Brion is like the easy mode for this game. If you get Brion, you just basically kill everything because ice types deal a bunch of damage. And well, I, I guess he's not really a. Oh, he is weak to ice. Yeah. Like he might be dragon. You got any more brain busters there, Hal? Twenty-seven. Inke, level 14. Eevee. Just go with Ledian. Get the old Mach Punch. The old Mach Punch. This is what a Mach Punch looks like when it's coming at you. Boom. It's pretty scary. It's super effective. Oh no, my attack fell, but it's way too late. <sighs> I'm glad that you have more Pokemon now. I was beginning to wonder if you could even afford Pokeballs, but 
I'll give you money if you need money. Don't don't even bother giving me money when you lose. Just hang on to it. You need it more than I do. Tora Cat and everybody all look like they had a blast too. <sighs> right then, here, I'll show you my bit of good luck with you, Blaze. A dire hit. You know how the totem Pokemon are all like surrounded by some aura? If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. Might want to try using some of those Rotom powers when you're fighting a totem too. Pokemon battles are just like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's not true, How? That's just not true. I don't know what, what, who taught you that? But you're only really a loser if you don't have any fun while you're at it. I'm heading off to Peniola Ranch. <laughs> I always win. <laughs> at least in, like, playing NPCs. I, I never... I don't always win when, when fighting other players, because there's other players that are really good. Um, but I always win when fighting the computers. Unless... Unless it's a battle tree type situation. Okay. The folks at Peniola Ranch made all those big ramps in the fields around the ranch to help their Pokemon build up strong hips and legs. Coolio. Don't think I needed to know any of that, though. Thank you. Lies up this... Uh, Peniola Ranch lies up this way. It's pretty far through there to Brooklet Hill. Apparently, folks have been riding on Tauros in the Alola region since way long back. I guess you can understand how ride Pokemon became such a part of everyday life here. Oh, sticker. Twelve stickers! Ah, ah, ah. Hey, jerks. Leave this Vulpix alone. Yo, yo, Vulpix, give me that bottle cap. Please stop. I was not standing on that way. So I walked I walked all the way around so I could just come up from behind them. What you looking at? What's this Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just going to put it to better use, that's all. You there, do you think you could help? I think you could help. I think you got this. Just have your bull picks freeze them or something. You want a piece of me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with Team Skull. I don't think that you will, though. Like, I really don't think that's going to happen. Team Skull grunt. What do you want to bet this lady gives me the bottle cap that they wanted to steal from her after I beat them in battle? That's my guess. What is this, uh, Radata? <laughs> Pow! Is that all you got? I thought you'd be a little bit more, more difficult to defeat than that. That's fine, though. Air Cutter, yes, let's do that. Get rid of, uh, Wing Attack. <laughs> Ta-da! Air Cutter. You got a piece of me, and I guess I shouldn't have messed with you. I got the whole thing, baby. A grown woman needs an 11-year-old kid to make those punks leave? Weak. It's all your fault, just because you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. Yo, you got lucky, Vopix. Don't count on people to help you next time. Here it comes. She's going to give me the bottle cap. Oh, thank goodness. Everything's going to be all right now. <laughs> Crew. <laughs> oh, dear. What's wrong? It'd make this old lady happy if you'd come back tomorrow, too. Honey, I got things to do. You can't make me just do whatever you think you think I should be doing. 
I'm trying to be a Pokemon master, and you're trying to make me come back every day? Wow. Thirteen totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. This is, um... Isn't this where Olivia lives or something? Like, her house is up here, I thought. This probably is not it. I thought her house is up here. Another sticker. 14 stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, where am I? Oh, I guess it's a double room. I didn't realize. All right, we'll go downstairs again. And... I like how this hat is on the cactus. That's pretty cool. Magmar knows when to use Ember, Flamethrower, or Fire Blast to get the strength of the fire just right. It's super helpful when I'm cooking. How is the embarrassment of his family? Oh my gosh. He totally is. If you clear Kiawi's trial, then you can ride on the back of a real Charizard. You can actually fly through the sky. Let's keep moving, I guess. Everyone who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. Eat well, sleep well, then it's time for a proper battle. Well, I mean, are you going to give me a proper battle? Madame Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Madame. Hey, it's Carbink. Cool. It's not concerning. I got, I got this. Bubble beam. Yeah. Ekans level 22. Should be evolving now. Hopefully. I think it's like right on the cusp. Yes. Ekans is evolving. What? Ekans is evolving? I sound so surprised. What, what, what? Arbok. Your Ekans evolved into Arbok. Yes, it did. Thanks for the update. Alright, so it says... Oh, snap. The latest research has determined that there are over 20 possible arrangements of the patterns on its stomach. That's kind of cool. I kind of wish that the ones in Alola and the ones in uh, X and Y and Kalos and uh, uh, Kanto and Johto all had different patterns, but that's okay, I guess. It's 11 feet tall, by the way. <laughs> crunch. Yes, let's, let's learn Crunch. I think you know Bite right now. We need to get rid of Bite. Forget this move. Poof. Yeah. I need to change out Pokemon, though, now, because I don't want him to be a part of my team anymore since he's not going to evolve again. So let's go back down here and get it switched out. Notice that my uh, Pokedex is saying things to me, but I don't even care. I don't, I don't have any interest in talking to a Pokedex. So, we're going to move this one over to, I guess Picky Pick is a good one. Level 14. Sure. I'm not sure if that's going to work out tremendously well over the next little while, but really... I mean, Brion's the one that's taking care of everybody, and once I get to the fire challenge, that, that's not going to be a challenge either, because, I mean, Brion's going to take everything out. So, Brion as a starter is basically easy mode, it seems like, or uh, Poplio as a starter. Not, not necessarily easy mode, but it seems like it's geared to be effective against a lot of different types. 
Oh, you've got to be a trial goer, right? Well, you've got a good sense of timing. Captain's actually here now, so come on. Seems like all you need in this game is a really good water type, and you'll be in really good shape. It's Mallow. The mill tank are, um, are upset. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Milk from Pagnoli Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. The taste can't even be described. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. So, just as a heads up, I mean, if you're using it in a sauce, wouldn't you just describe it as like Alfredo? If you're using it in a cream, wouldn't you just, you know, describe it as a cream? I'm pretty sure you can describe it. By the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. Ride pager. See, Stoutland can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. In your riding Stoutland, press B to use Stoutland search is what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There are kinds of there are all kinds of stuff lying around waiting for you to find it. Statlin will bark louder and louder the closer it gets to some item buried in the ground. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come up on Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana is up there. So say hi to her for me if you see her. How about you say it yourself? How about you say hi to her like yourself? Cuz I don't I don't need that. I'm not a little errand boy. All right, Mallow, thanks for the uh, heads up there. There's a lot of stuff over here, I think. Mud Bray. Bray! Bray! Get him. And we'll go get the sticker. Fifteen totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Counting them off like the count from Sesame Street. Hey, it's a Mareep. I really do like Mareep a lot. I wish I could use it, but it's not in the Lola Pokemon, so not going to be able to. But it is one of my favorite Pokemon. Ampharos is pretty chill. I knew it. I knew he was going to get paralyzed. I was just thinking about it, too. I was like, I'm probably paralyzed at this point. Sure am. Okay, Pokeball, go! Got him. <laughs> yeah. Mareep was caught. I kind of want to put Mareep in my party just to level him up and get him uh, some experience. Bring him up to an Ampharos. Uh, clothing made from Marit's fleece is easily charged with static electricity, so a special process is used on it. Interesting. That makes sense. I want to find a little sheep. <laughs> well, here's where they are. Right here. I, I like Marip. He's actually pretty cool. And his, his evolution is really neat, too. Very strong electric type. I think there's mill tanks in this area too. Pro maybe possibly Tauros too. I can't remember. But I want to say yes. And bubble beam. Bubble beam. Bubble, bubble, bubble beam. Got him. Got him. Inke grew to level 15. Topsy turvy. Um, I'm not going to really use this Pokemon, so I don't need it to be strong or have strong moves. <laughs> Are you raising Pokemon? 
No, it, it's not in Sun. It, it's it's a new Pokemon to this game. Um, it has a Pokedex entry, but in Sun you could you could get it into Sun if you if you did Pokemon Bank and brought it in, but it won't have a Pokedex entry in regular Sun. Only in Ultra Sun. <clears throat> Inke is also new to this game. Not a new Pokemon, but he was not in this game originally. Yeah! Rock Rough grew to level 17. Whew. Rock Ruff's going to be real strong pretty soon. It's exciting. I'm a Pokemon nursery lady. I'll help take care of Pokemon of trainers like you. Lately, for some reason, I see some Pokemon holding eggs. It's a mysterious, isn't it? If you want us to take care of your Pokemon, please speak to my sister inside the building. What if I don't want to do that? <laughs> Try to go have a look at my kid. That's weird. Have a look at my kid? Okay, I was thinking he had like a... A skiddo or a goat or something, but he doesn't have a goat at all. Have a look at my kid? Who says that? Oh, man. Oh, come on. Stop being paralyzed. Oh, great. Uh. <laughs> All right, please don't come back. Uh. Leave me alone. Great. Full restore. I can't win. This guy's really annoying. He's not as annoying as Roost Person, but he's still pretty annoying. Alright, get out of here, please. Don't don't take my number, don't call me. I don't write nothing like that. I have no interest in talking to you again. Pluck. Uh pecks the target. If the target is holding a berry, the user eats it and gains the effect. Nice. Let's get rid of uh, uh, Growl, I suppose. Picky Peck learned Pluck. You're growing rapidly. That's wonderful. How do you know how rapidly I'm growing? Oh, look at that. Evolving already. How does this guy know so much about me and how much I'm growing? Is he following me around? Trumbeak. <laughs> All right. And the data reads. It can bend the tip of its beak to produce over a hundred different cries at will. Interesting. Interesting. I have to heal, paralyze, heal, heal, and uh, super potion. I don't really need to use those things because I think there's a Pokemon Center really close by, but I'm going to use them anyway. You'll find Brooklyn Hill at the end of Route 5. That's where Captain Lana does her trial. Where is this? Route 5? Okay. 
I'm one of the trial guides that's here to help you help out young trial goers on their island challenge. Feel like learning a mysterious move? Its effects change based on where you use it. Let's see, if you can beat all the trainers on Route 5 for starters. <laughs> I read that so wrong. I'm really not that worried about the trainers on Route 5. One of the duties of a breeder is to discover and refine the strengths of Pokemon. Sounds good to me. Yuka. Her name's Yuka? Noah, what's going on? Welcome to the stream today. My day's been pretty good. Been getting the... Progressing further and further in Pokemon, so it's been... It's been a pretty good day so far. Probably going to be on for about... Another 40 minutes or so. Uh, but yeah, I'm progressing... Uh, further and further into Pokemon, just like I want to, so... I'd like to have been done with the game by now, but... I mean, that's just not realistic, so... I know people have done it, I just didn't have the time, so... But at some point, I'd love to have... Uh, be caught up in, in as far as like where I am in this game compared to Pokemon Moon... Comet Punch. What do we got here? That's a normal move. I don't like that at all. Let's just not learn that. It hits up to five times. At least it gives you something to do for a while that you haven't completed. That's true. It's a new goal, I guess, so that's kind of cool. I just don't want to play through the game again, because I feel like it's it's been mostly the same game. Doing squats, squats really uses all your muscles. My legs are shaking so hard I can't move. I'm not doing a little in sumo. I'm not. I'm definitely not trying to be like Kahuna Hala. Okay. Thanks for the update? Question mark. <laughs> Thanks for the update? It's Metapod. Moving right along, though, I think everything is going pretty smoothly in the game, at least. I'm wondering why this Metapod hasn't evolved yet. It's, like, level 16. Like, it just wants to be a Metapod its whole life. I'm still confused who is the bad team in this game. Um, so far, there has not really been anybody stepping forward as, like, the bad guys. Um... So all I can tell you is that um, it looks like it might be Team Skull, although it's most likely this new this recon squad. But I, I haven't really encountered much of them, and they don't seem to really be getting in my way or, or have any kind of a plan. So I don't know. I have no clue. And Team Rocket is... Nowhere to be found, so either Team Rocket comes into play at the post-game content, or it's it's more of like a one-off, like, battle the leaders of every organization in a battle tree type setting. So I really don't know. Couldn't answer your question if I wanted to. Okay, there's someone over here. But, I don't know, I'm really hoping that, uh, I don't know. I mean, e even in the last game, there really wasn't a bad guy team. It was just like, it was just that uh, Team Skull was just there. They just weren't really good at doing anything. In fact, they really didn't do anything the whole game. Um, and by the end of the game, um... The biggest mastermind, mastermind was uh, was not Team Skull at all. So I don't know. Even Guzma really didn't do anything.
So I'm not really sure what their purpose was in the first game compared to this game. It seems like it's about the same. Just to give you somebody else to fight. I'm too young for math. A loss and a loss make a double loss. Ooh. I just didn't know because there were so many teams in the trailers. Uh, I'm currently playing Ultra Sun. Um, I played uh, Moon originally, and I didn't want to play Moon again, so I played Ultra Sun. Uh, man, I lost again. Are you even taking this seriously? I am. So seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it. Which clearly you haven't. Ooh, sick burn! Get him! Whoa, hey, Blaze. This guy is plenty scary. You're Blaze. Nope. <laughs> so you have enough sense to be wary. Not bad. I'm Gladian. Me and my partner, Type Null, are training to get stronger. We have to get stronger, though most of our time these days goes to working for Team Skull as their muscle. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> I'm going to get Ultra Sun. I played Moon first, too. Yeah. I have I have Ultra Moon also, and I'm going to play through it after I finish this game. Um, but I wanted to play through this game first and see what's going on. Okay, Zubat going down. It seems like everybody uses Pokemon that are weak to an attack that Brion has. So I haven't really had much challenge so far. Oh, okay. It was a Zorua. It was not actually a Zubat. That's cool. I didn't realize that it would do that. That's pretty cool. Zubat, go! Now it'll be super effective. I think, uh, so the question here is, uh, which one do I prefer? Ultra Beast Burst or Assembly? I think I like Burst a lot better. I think Assembly is just too mechanical. It looks like a building, and I don't like that. I, mean, I guess it could be a spaceship or like a pyramid or something, but... It doesn't look natural. Not not that burst does either, but it does. It looks unnatural in a different way. So, I'm gonna go with uh, Ultra Beast Burst on that one. Which one do you prefer? Oh, me too. That's why. I also, that's also why I'm getting Ultra Sun. Cool. I think that, uh, I'm glad that they have a couple new Ultra Beasts in the game, because I feel like there's, um, it, it would have been really boring if there weren't any new ones. So I haven't, I haven't gotten very far, and I, I have not looked up any spoilers, even though everything for the game is already leaked and out there in the open. So I'm, I'm trying to avoid all the spoilers, so, just so you guys know if you're, if you're out there and wanting to chat. Uh-oh. Poomph. It's not like... It's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. Strong opponents? I'm not even that strong. That kid there? His Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling. But this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. You know my Gramps? Wait, so you think I'm strong? Oh, look at you, little... Oh, look at you, little Gladian. Aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yo, I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless, too, huh? No worries. We got enough backbone to cover you. Just give it up already. Huh? You 
You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way, and for what? For a big fat waste of our time, thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen that totem Pokemon from Brooklyn Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying, and it's time we should be flying. Listen up good, Gladian. The boss does like you, that's true. But you're just some hired help we keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull, not really. And you never will be, got it? You better get it. <laughs> okay. So I'm way too excited to shiny hunt Ultra Beast Burst. The only reason I like Team Skull is because of their amazing dance moves. Yeah, they, I like their music a lot. Their music's pretty cool. Thanks, Blaze. Embryon 2, you both gave it your all. Looks like I've got to train up my team if I'm going to take on the trial of Brooklet, Brooklet Hill. Here, Blaze, take these with you. You're going to beat the Island Challenge. Pfft. I've only had to ever use one revive. I didn't even have to use it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So I think Team Skull could have been really cool if they were just a little bit more edgy and dangerous. Like, if they actually had a plan. They don't they don't seem to have a plan at all, and I think that's kind of silly. They just kind of are around, and they're just kind of getting in the way. They don't really have... I mean, I guess they want to steal Pokemon or something, but that's not really something that is needed ever. So, they never succeed. And and you don't really ever see what they do with these Pokemon when, when they do succeed, so... I, I, I just don't get it. I'm not going to use Sing. I'll just leave Sing out of it. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Pokemon Trainer. Battles are the best thing for raising Pokemon. You are right about that, sir. Uh, my favorite shiny so far has been uh, Umbreon. I caught him in uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, and uh, he's just really cool looking. Although I do like, um, I also like Picky Peck. He was pretty cool. Um, and Pancham's pretty cool too. I was just trying to think of all the cool ones that I have. Spinarak. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll go ahead and go with uh, Trumbeak and get some experience there. Pluck is a good good move. Spinarak's pretty cool too. I have a shiny Spinarak. He's a cool shiny. Pluck. Ow. Inke. Okay, what's next? A Rost Berry. Cherry Berry. Rost Berry. What's down here? If you continue up this path, you'll find a Pokemon Center. And past that Pokemon Center is the trial site, Brooklyn Hill. Look at that, Pokemon Center. Combos that can't be used alone can be used when there are two of us. If it's alright with you, battle with us. Sure, I, I guess. So I should be able to beat this trial um, while I'm here. Though I don't have any Pokemon that are good against water Pokemon, so that's going to be an issue. Uh-oh. This is not going to work out well for them. Icy Wind should do the trick. I guess we'll just use supersonic and let let Brion do the rest. Pop. Oh, they ain't dead yet. Wow. Ouchie. Ah. Uh. 
Oh man, I should have known. <laughs> I see wind. I was trying to hunt, but my DS is dead. Oh no. Uh, I bred a shiny Rowlet with Masuda method in under 200 encounters. I was so happy it didn't take too long. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I, I have the opportunity to Masuda, sh to Masuda breed a Litten, um, because I have a German Litten, or German, Tor uh, Incineroar, but I haven't put in the time to do it yet, so, eventually I will, but I just haven't done it yet. Star duo Lauren and Josh? Combos are so difficult, but that's why they're fun. I'm not even sure what combo they were going for. It seemed like they were just... Let's try these two Pokemon and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, so I... I would like to have a... Uh, a Ditto from a different country. That'd be pretty cool. I see. So, I tried trading for one in the Sun and Moon GTS, and it didn't work out very well. I had to, uh, I tried trading for it, and then it, it just gave me a regular ditto, so I was kind of mad, but if you're saying it's easier in, in, in Oris, I'll try it there instead, because I haven't tried there at all. I hope he doesn't get KO'd. I need I need him. I haven't caught him yet. Cool. Let's go with uh, Ultra Ball. I'll check if I have an extra. I can trade if you do. I have one. If I do have one, cool. Be pretty cool. For, cool of you. Ninety-four. Do 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 do. Number 150, by the way. Interesting number. This Pokemon has excellent judgment. If it decides it can't defeat an opponent, it immediately turns tail and vamooses. Vamooses. That's a weird past tense word. Or present tense word. How do you get that sticker? Because you can't get up there. That's so weird. It's Lily Pup. Bubble Beam. Bubble, bubble, bubble beam. Uh oh. He didn't last very long. So let's see. Is there something up here? I feel like there is. Something up here. Welcome back, Noah. Do, 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 do. Caterpie fainted. Checking my PC now. Sweet. Did I not go up this way? Oh, I haven't yet. Because I couldn't. So, how do you get up there? Is there... Ugh. Caterpie. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a hard time with this one. Um... I don't have Pokemon Bank yet. I think uh, that's what Noah's asking me. So I don't I don't have Pokemon Bank yet, but only because I don't 
I don't think I'm going to use it right away, so I haven't picked it up yet. I certainly could get it. I mean, I probably will download it pretty soon, but right now I don't have it. All right, let's go heal up. Check my PC and see if I have any grass-type Pokemon or electric-type Pokemon. I guess I could use Mareep. I, pro I think I'm going to have to do that. Switch out something for a Mareep. Actually, he's not bad either. Mareep, level 12. I just want something that's gonna going to evolve. So let's go ahead and, and switch him out with, uh, I guess for now, that one. And we'll have to get leveled up here. During this time, 53 Pokemon in the Pokedex. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and go. So there's a there's a thing in there. A fishing rod. Wow. I think I'm good. I think I just need to go over there and start looking for more Pokemon. I don't know if... You only need Pokemon Bank for the Ditto because I don't have it. But I think I have one in the daycare. That's cool. No worries. I'll, I'm sure I'll get one on my own. A net ball. Let's do it, brother. I'll teach you some tricks that guarantee hooking some Pokemon. Fisherman Ernest. 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 Barboach. There's going to be a lot of water Pokemon that I have to fight over the next, uh, like, area so it's gonna be interesting I have to get uh, Mary leveled up although I probably could use Pikachu and be okay I'd rather have Mareep because he evolves twice Goldeen 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 all right, keep Rion. Disarming voice. Can you trade from normal sun to ultra sun? Um, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't looked into that just yet. So I know that you can trade. Um, I think you can use Pokemon Bank for that, but I don't think you can trade normally. I don't give up until you catch something. You'll definitely catch a Pokemon. And Pokemon Battles as well. If you battle until you win, you'll definitely win. Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklet Hill. So, trial goer, will you be attempting my trial? Yes. Then I will explain the trial to you. My particular trial is this. I want you to herd the Pokemon found in the pools of Brooklet Hill, driving them downstream to draw out the totem Pokemon. If I might be so blunt, they are wishy-washy. It's wishy-washy I want you to herd. But I won't expect you to swim through all the pools yourself. I have a lovely gift here to help you. If you climb atop Lapras there, you'll be able to travel over bodies of water. Now you'll be able to help dive, drive those Pokemon downstream for me. So if you're ready, please follow me. Oh, we're getting this on. So you made it. I'm sorry, what was your name? Oh, of course, Blaze. It is a lovely name, just lovely. Now then, do you see those two splashes over there? Yep. 
I see them. I'm thinking that at least one of them might be a wishy-washy. In fact, it's likely both might. Don't you agree? Would you try to drive them downstream with a little help from Lapras? I guess I don't really have a choice. X special attack. I crammed Pokemon in my backpack, bounced around, and now I'm here. Cool story, broette. <laughs> cool, cool story. Fletchling. Oh, wow. I don't think he's fire yet. I think he's just flying, but... I'm going to go with Icy Wind. Really? Avoided the attack, huh? Oh my gosh, and quick attack. That's really annoying. Do, 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 do. There we go, Mareep leveled up. Looks like I've been visited by defeat. <laughs> yes. Yes, you have. Uh, my dittos are English, yes. That is true. Oh, snap. Dupider. Duped. I've been duped again. Bubble Beam. Not very effective. That'll help out at least. At least I won't have to worry about it being effective or whatever. Brion can at least take all the hits. That's good. <laughs> That's okay. Can't find any foreign dittos, huh? That's alright. No worries. What a da 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 da, da. wishy washy. Disarming voice. <laughs> Go with pound again. Inke wants to learn the move hypnosis. Sure. Let's get rid of uh, constrict. Might come in handy. Inke learned hypnosis. Well, this is a lovely surprise. You're quite the trainer, please. Please carry on driving the wishy-washy downstream just like that. Okay. I'll sure try. Is there a place to take pictures here? I hope, well, I hope I find some shiny luck going into the hunt Litten now. Nice. Me too. Litten's pretty tough. Is he going to turn around? All right. I don't know. I don't even know if that, if that jumping one was any good. No. I'm going to go with this one. There we go. <laughs> 734, not even that many. Alright. I'll come back to that later. I don't want to keep doing that. I want to finish this trial as the end of the episode, so hopefully we'll make it.
Well, this is a lovely surprise. You're quite the trainer, Blaze. Please carry down, <laughs> carry out the wishy-washy downstream Pokemon hunt thing, I guess. Let's do it. Now I can swim on water. All right. So I just got to take out the rest of these things. I'm I'm a little worried about the, uh, the totem Pokemon because I don't think I'm prepared. I don't have anything that's super effective against water right now. So when I get to that point, I might have a hard time. Oh, gosh. Oh, it hits both of them. Cool. That might come in handy in the future, too. For the upcoming battle. Trumbeak, level 18. Maroof, level 14. So all of these Pokemon are level 17. So I'm guessing that's going to be about the, uh, the level of the totem Pokemon also. Cool. Good old faint. Okay, next up we have to... If I had Twitter, I'd show you my shiny Decidueye. I do like shiny Decidueye. He is pretty awesome. He's my favorite starter in this game. I liked... Um, Probably it was okay, but this is is like way better, in my opinion. I super love him. Super love him. It's raining. Ah. Uh. Can no longer escape. Called for help. Ah. Uh. It's going to be tough, isn't it? Gosh. I'd like to heal up before I fight the totem Pokemon, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <laughs> I just need more, more power points and disarming voice. It's really all I need. Oh my gosh. I have a Discord. If you want to jump on my Discord, you can show me there. If you'd like, just type in the Discord command to get the uh, to get the information link and everything. <laughs> nice. Mareep, yeah, get it. Charge. I need you to be like super strong pretty soon. So I'm guessing Growl, get rid of that. Reap, learn charge. Let's heal up my uh, my items. Oh, sweet. Evolution, too. That'll help. My Reap is evolving. I thought it was 18 that he evolved. That's okay. 15 works. Yeah, Flaffy. Flaffy. And Flaffy's data added to the Pokedex. Says here that Flaffy, in the places on its body where fleece doesn't grow, its skin is rubbery and doesn't conduct electricity. Those spots are safe to touch. Cool. I have to go very soon. That's all right. All right, another battle. When the fishing line has been cast, a sucker may come along wanting to battle. Or a trainer will be hooked. Oh, gosh. That guy just called me a sucker. I guess it's the way the cookie crumbles. And you're the one, and you're using Magikarp, and you call me the sucker? Really? Really? Is that how this works? Uh, 
I gotta charge my DS here. Otherwise, it's gonna die like right in the middle of the stream. That'd be terrible. Since all he has is splash, I'll just use pound. It won't matter. Splash does nothing. I just think when they call you a sucker, they're calling you a lollipop. They sure are. I do like candy, so I'm okay with it. All right, Magikarp. Get pounded. Now, if Mareep levels up from this, that'll be worth it. Ow, there's a tackle in there. I didn't expect that. Another Magikarp. Magikarp, magic, Magikarp. Oh, goodness. Alrighty, Magikarp, down for the count. Fisherman Trainer, down for the count. I think he called himself the Sucker at that point. That's fine, though. With all my shinies, I've never had a shiny charm in any game. Nice. I've only gotten one in one game, and that was uh, Pokemon uh, Moon. It's the only one I've ever had. Charge beam. I'm a charge in my laser. Ride Pokemon. Yeah. All right. Down to the last area here. I'm a little nervous about this part. She's probably going to heal me right now. Yeah, it's just over there. It would seem we succeeded in drawing out the totem Pokemon. Strike against the totem with all your strength and seize victory. Okay, I'm going to save the game, though. This shouldn't be too bad, but I think my Pokemon are not quite ready. Flaffy's only 15. I'd like to fight other Pokemon first, but it's probably not going to happen. So let's just go ahead and go in for the battle. Shouldn't be a problem, but we'll see. Had an oval charm a couple of times, though. Rut row. Dupiter. Okay. I thought it was the other one. This isn't Dupiter. This is the evolution, I think. Yeah. I thought that the totem Pokemon was the other one, though. The, um... Wishy Washy's combined form. Maybe it is in Moon, but not this game? I don't know. 20, huh? Disarming voice. Maybe I can drop its speed to below a certain point. That's not good. He's going to heal himself. Oh, this is not good at all. I'm not ready for this. Not at all. Now I've got another Dupiter. Um, yeah, I don't think any of my Pokemon are ready for this, really. Um, Rockruff has Rock Throw, I think, which might work. But we're going to have to keep using Disarming Voice, I guess. And that's not going to work very well. Oh man, this is not good. I did not go into this with... Uh... With any kind of... Uh... Expectation. So... I'm probably going to lose.
Leech life. Bug bite. Whoops. So I guess pound on the on the Dupiter. The Araquanid is gonna gonna kill me probably. Okay, good, he's dead. Maybe pound's the answer. Oh gosh, I need a full restore or something. Something's gotta give here. I gotta go by sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Thanks for stopping by and having a great making the stream great. Appreciate it. Alright, let's see if Pound does anything. Oh, nothing more than it did before. I wonder if he is gonna run out of those leech lives eventually. Um He's already used so many of them, but he's not going to run out anytime soon. I know that. I'm just doing so little damage to him right now. But I think it only has 15. He's already used it like eight times. Something like that. I need to heal again. Hmm. <laughs> it's not going well, to say the least. But he can't use it forever. Or can he? I don't know. So far, he's been using it. Critical hit. If I could just outlast him, I'll be okay. Aurora Beam does nothing. Maybe he's out now. I'm taking a huge chance here by... Um, not healing. But, here comes an ally Pokemon. So, I need to heal up. Oh my gosh, Mask of Rain. Is there any other healing items I can use? No. Big Malasada. What's that do? Heal all status conditions. That's not what I want. Okay. I guess I only have like three super potions left. Got to make the most out of them. I think I'll be okay. But I was I was definitely not prepared for this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use Icy Wind, which is super effective against Masquerain. Don't flinch. Good. Not enough for the KO, but that's okay. Speed fell. Let's try that again. Because I might drop the speed again, which might be super useful later on. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Good. Okay, so he's KO'd. A Rockwinid is... Doing okay. Still in it. That could help. Getting some extra attack power there might be useful. Whole team levels up too, uh, in some cases. So, Ink A level 19, Flappy level 16. If, if I can drop a Rockwinded speed to a certain point, then Flappy will do some damage too. I think we're okay, though, now that he can't use Leech Life anymore. 
Oh, nice. Critical hit. Perfect. I was like super nervous on that, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew how nervous I was. I never like really lost a battle in Pokemon. That would have been a really hard loss, hard pill to swallow. But I'm really glad that I was able to pull that off. Super potions for the win. <laughs> All right. And just over two hours. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Get the rest of the story elements here and then wrap things up on this episode. Uh, let's see. Please come back this way. What a very what a very surprising surprise. What a very redundant redundancy. <laughs> Who would have thought it? That all those wishy-washy gather would have summoned in a, in a rockwinid, that is. Even I was caught. Hook, line, and sinker. You are amazing, Blaze. Truly impressive. Play Please take this. Oh yeah, Waterium Z. Waterium, what are you doing? What are you doing? Nice. You do know what this is, don't you? Watch, this is how you use Waterium Z. And I have more than just that to offer you, another token of clearing my trial. This is a Lana original, one of my own handmade fishing rods. Nice. Thanks. I could use that. This is how you use a fishing rod. If you want to fish for Pokemon, look for piles of rocks in the water. Fish like, fish like to hide in the shadows there. When you see the bob dip under the water, you have a bite. But don't wait for long. Press A. If you want to catch any of the Pokemon you fish up on your team, I recommend Dive Balls. Cool. She's hooking me up. By the way, did you know I once reeled in a Red Gyarados? No. I know the person who reeled in a Red Gyarados. It wasn't you. Well, what do you think? You did a fine job today. Shall I see you back to the Pokemon Center on Route 5? Sure, I need to heal up. That would be a good idea for me to heal up right now. Good, let's be going then, and you can always do a spot of fishing later. Next is Kiawi's Trial. It will take place at Willa Volcano Park. Oh, and that reminds me, did you, you see any Sudowoodo on Pinioli Ranch? They were causing some trouble for people, so I gave them a little dose of Z-Power using my Waterium Z. Just a little lesson for them. I wonder how they will react now that they see that you have Waterium Z too. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to react. All right, folks, that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon here. Uh, thanks so much for watching uh, Pokemon um, Ultra Sun playthrough. I really appreciate that. Um, whether you catch me on Twitch or on YouTube, thank you so much. I am going to be saving the game right now. Just barely pulled off that water victory, so got really lucky. I'm going to be back tomorrow night, Monday night, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time to finish up more Pokemon Ultra Sun playing through. Um, I'll also be back in about 45 minutes for some Animal Crossing, uh, so don't miss that either if you're an Animal Crossing fan. So until next time, guys, thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the flippity-flip.